this code sample includes the definition of a trait. Its name is powerful man. This is a definition of a trait in Scala. And this trait includes the definition of two methods. One, an abstract method. The other, a method with a body. The Scala compiler compiles uh, this trait into an interface and a class. The additional class is due to the fact that the trait includes a method with an implementation. The abstract method, do abstract stuff, will be defined within the interface powerful man we will have available when we code in Java. Here you can find the definition for Java man, a class that implements powerful man. Powerful man is an interface we get because the powerful man is a trait and Scala compiler compiles a trait into a Java interface. So here you can find the definition for the abstract method the Java man class inherits from powerful man. What about the concrete method? In this case, do concrete stuff. Well, the concrete method, do concrete stuff, is still available within the powerful interface in Java. So we must define it. However, we can use a new method the Scala compiler creates following this one in the new class it generates the powerful man dollar class it is a new method a static method with the same implementation we have here and it is a static method with an additional parameter for getting the reference for the powerful man object on which on which it should be executed. Let's see how does it work. Here is a simple Java application that use a class, the Java main class that implements powerful man. Let's see the output of the execution of this simple application.